What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, the channel of Faith Trading and Wealth, and today we are going to be looking at some XRP news and some XRP analysis with Ichimoku Clouds. So today, you guys, you know, I want y'all to hit that like button. It helps this channel grow. It helps, you know, this video reach more people that are interested in XRP and interested in growing spiritually. I want this channel to be a channel that, you know, impacts people, not just financially, but spiritually as well. Uh, so before I get into anything, I'm going to be reading a scripture and then I'm going to get into the XRP news and then the analysis for you guys. And then we'll go from there. So like this video right now and share it too. Uh, so coming out of 1 Peter 5 and 7, very simple scripture that I think everybody should take to heart. Casting all your care upon him for he careth for you and You have to understand the word casting means to throw away to put aside the deposit or to get rid of And he didn't say just some of your care. He didn't say half your care. He said all your cares He's he's telling you get rid of all your care and put it upon him Deposit your care and put it on him for he cares for you when you have a God that cares for you and loves you think about like a, a loving parent that loves their child and they they when their child is in need of something or hurting of something whether you have anxiety depression loneliness you have financial struggle relationship struggle put those cares upon the Lord he because he cares for you he's wanting you to come to him like a child and come to him with that childlike faith because when a child comes to you with that childlike when you come to him with that childlike faith you're open and you're transparent the greatest transparent the greatest intimacy with God is being transparent with him and I always stand by the greatest uh, intimacy is transparency and God's wanting that he's longing for that from you so put your cares upon him and continue to seek him all right so today's news it's something simple I will link the article in the description if you guys even care about reading it, but I'm going to read it anyway. So I'm just going to skim through it because not all, not all of it is super important, but I'm going to just read basics of, of, from it. So it's pretty much talking about uh, this cryptocurrency trader known as Leo, which I'm also a cryptocurrency trader. Uh, he's saying that XRP is ready to make some interesting moves upwards. We will do some analysis on that, see if he's, you know, if he's accurate. I believe he is. I see the same thing, but we'll, we'll confirm it, uh, move upwards. In the analysis share, he confirmed that the fourth largest cryptocurrency is ready for a rapid rise. Also, Leo added that the price will rise even higher when cryptocurrencies reaches a significant price of two, 20 cents and a half. XRP is currently trading at 19 and 6 cents. And has begun and has been struggling since 2018, more like 2017, but give or take. Uh, one of the worst performing cryptocurrencies, the worst performing. However, the digital asset has recently began to make positive moves, uh, going down. Bitcoin and in a number of altcoins experienced significant price increases both in the past year and in 2020. For example, during the June 2019 bull run, Bitcoin reached nearly 14,000, the highest price recorded since the 2017 bull market. Ethereum drew a very successful chart as the price action was largely dependent on Bitcoin. Uh, despite the bull run, XRP's progression has been significant, insignificant and has not changed since then. XRP gained 1,000% in just one month in 2017. And I believe 2020 is going to shatter that uh, and became the second largest cryptocurrency by Bitcoin after market value. <laughs> so uh, XRP later lost his position, this position to Ethereum and recently left third place to Th Tether. Wow, that's sad. Uh, Leo said that although XRP has not made a tremendous move since 2017, its move will be epic. And I believe that. Here's the last part of the article. XRP uh, lead the next bull run. <clears throat> I believe XRP may lead the next bull run. And, I, and I'm, I see a lot of reasons why on these charts. And I'll get into that after this. Several analysts say current market positions point to a bull, to a bull on the horizon. Not only for Bitcoin, but also for altcoins 
despite lateral movements for a moment for a while the unknown thing is when this bull run will begin currently leadership is appearing in chain link link uh cardano ada or ada uh, both of which recently joined the top 10 cryptocurrencies however when xrp shows a major sign of breaking in the near future it can take the lead in lead the next bullish cycle so that's it for the, uh you know just the basic news it's nothing really serious but uh, uh let's jump into this xrp technical analysis with ichimoku clouds and i will see you guys in a bit all right let's go all right you guys we are now looking at xrp with ichimoku technical analysis so you guys, starting from the weekly time frame, we're gonna break it down to the, the hour or the 15, depending on what I see. But, you know, we're still underneath the cloud. We're still ranging, market's still flat. We take this line off here, the blue line. You see that key June, but still flat. We're in a TK zone, but that doesn't matter because price is still accumulating, right? Everything's just a kind of accumulation right here. So, back on. Uh, let me zoom in to this area. We had three consecutive, well, about to be three, after, you know, this, but we see that the this weekly candle closed higher than the previous one. Uh, we see price is still trying to fight its way up. This is Hakanashi candles. Uh, it takes out the noise out of the market, so it's, it makes it easier for you to get into trades without any, with, you know, without too much noise and too much uh, down draw, you know? So, we see the market is, you know, moving up to the upside here on the weekly, but we need to sustain and probably move higher than this current level that we're currently at. Uh, you know, looking at on the daily time frame, which we're gonna get into, but I really love here and what I'm seeing, price is finally breaking out of the cloud, moving sideways here, you know, just accumulating here. Also, we see a bullish cloud forming. You know, uh, also something that we need to see uh, our current candle we need actually our current candle is actually bullish the last candle from yesterday was the indecision candle so we need to close like this and this will be a weak uh, buying signal for like a Nashi candle but that's fine uh, we're still breaking outside the cloud we need cheap event to move up higher Right now, I see price coming back up to 20 and a half cent. cents. So let me go ahead and mark this level based off the daily time. Uh, this is the next level I, I am going to be looking at uh, from the current level. This will be a 2% gain. So that's what I'm looking at right here. Um, let's drop down to the four hour time frame, see what's going on here. As you see, we are bouncing outside the cloud. We are free from the cloud, and it looks like price is, is very strong. If you see this momentum from the Heiko Mashiki, we're going up pretty good. Shiki spins free, price is above. Uh, like I said, I, I believe we'll get to this level 20 and a half cents right here. Uh, let's, the only thing I do not like so far is that Chiki on the June Sin right here is flat. This is our momentum. And Chiki spent A and B are both flat. So, you know, I don't like that. But that might change after this camp, this four hour candle closes. We still got three hours and 27 minutes for it to close. I will be monitoring that. Looking at it on the hour time frame, you know, momentum looks like it's getting a little weak because of this one hour candle is not closing above the previous one. And then also the Kijun and the Tinkinson is flat, so we may range a little bit here. We'll see. I have called this trade in my group chat at this level, and we had made this. Depending on if they're still in the trade, point, it was a almost a 3% gain at the fullest level. It was a 3.89% gain. So that's not too bad for this market. Uh, but the clouds, you gotta really be careful and you gotta really trust the system. We have this N wave that's formed here. 
this is uh, using advanced Ichimoku. Ichimoku has its own wave theory, so I do use that uh, for my analysis as well. Uh, the, the next move, I believe, if I have it on my chart, is going to be on the daily. The 27th of July is where I'm really eyeing to see. That's an Ichimoku number. I'm really interested to see how this day is going to play out. If we go higher, and hopefully we get to 23 cents because I, I'm pretty in pretty good profit from this point all the way up. So, you know, market acts from this point. If we can get to 23 cents, that'll be a good 15% gain right there. So, I would, so if I, you know, from where I did enter. I did enter current at the at this price down here. That would be a 17% gain. So I would I would love to see that happen. Uh, now I'm gonna finish off with the 15 minute chart. Yeah, this is where we in my, in my Discord group. But uh, looking at it, it, looks like price is still strong. We may get a small pullback, but maybe not necessarily. You see that we had reject, uh, you know. A indecision here, see that the price is starting to move up higher at this current. So, this candle will close in the next 10 minutes. So, this will be a, a strong buy signal, and we're still above the cloud. So, I like this. We just need to see that the engine starts to angle up. But I like how price is looking. I think price is going to start think slowly, but you know, this, this is going to be a process. But it's not gonna be, you know, a fast, you know, explosion. It's gonna be a subtle one and it's gonna take its time. So you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this technical analysis. Comment, subscribe, let me know your thoughts about this video. Like this video, it helps the channel grow, it helps the algorithm out to you know get people to find my channel. And I will be dropping education videos on how to trade Ichimoku as well. So definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, so other than that, God bless you guys and peace.